my name is Mayfield Chinato. I am a first year mentee, and this is an excerpt from a novel that I'm currently writing about my experience in Nigeria for two years. I hope you enjoy. As I walked out the gate, my neighbors, Joshua and Chisom, were already, were already waiting for me across the street. Joshua, Joshua, look, Chisom exclaimed. Kimberly's here, she's crossing the street. Joshua glanced across the street and saw Kimberly approaching. He couldn't help but stare and envision her in slow motion. Gracefully and gently, she put one leg in front of the other and made her way across. Her long and curly dark hair bounced as she swung her hips from left to right. The smile she flashed at him glistened with the sun while her eyes glowed. Wow, was all Joshua could say. Kimberly, Chisum shouted as she ran to hug me. Hey Chisum, hey Joshua, I said. Joshua lifted me up and spun me around saying, happy birthday Americana. Usually, I slap him anytime he'd call me that. But today, I decided to let it slide, just because it was my birthday. Um, Kim, said Chisum, I made this for you. I hope you like it. Chisum extended her arms and gave me a crown of made of flowers. I looked at her, smiled, and said, wow, Chisum, this is really beautiful. She replied, yeah, just like you. Reaching in for a hug, Joshua, the spoiler of all good moments, interrupted a hug saying, yeah, yeah, that's kind of beautiful, but this is way more beautiful. He pulled out a slightly faded gold heart-shaped locket and put it around my neck. Opening the locket, I saw a picture. It was of the both of us. Oh my gosh, Joshua, this is the picture we took during the Christmas party, I exclaimed. Joshua replied, yeah, I know. This is my favorite picture of us. Yeah, mine too. We gazed at each other and smiled, but within a few seconds, I looked away. Noticing that Chisum had already started walking to school, Joshua and I yelled, Chisum, wait up, and ran after her. While walking, a white jeep seemed to be following us. We paused for a second. Once the car paused as well, we knew we were being followed. My mom taught me to drop everything and run if something or someone was following me. But for some reason, I didn't feel like running. I actually felt safe, surprisingly. Joshua kept walking with his head high and a bounce in his step. Chisum, on the other hand, increased her speed with her head hung down. After being stalked for some minutes, the tinted windows of the white jeep began to wind down, revealing the face of our misty stalker. Ugh. Are you kidding me right now? Joshua said with annoyance. Our mystery stalker turned out to be my boyfriend, Kenneth. Oh.